why don't you come with me? So let's go. Oh, look at this, guys. Is that not the coolest thing? Do you think she looks happy? Look at all these red foots, huh? Oh, someone's biting my honey. Hey, what are you doing? We have so much happening right now in this video with the lizards moving back and forth. Hey, what's going on guys? Ken in here and today it's, oh no, right on mom's chair. Oh, I'm really gonna get in trouble for that, people. Trust me. Uh, anyway, today, besides the pooping, we're gonna watch Guapo and Lola enjoy the reptile lounge area, otherwise known as the Aquascape Ecosystem Pond. Sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's shout out goes to our newest supporter, Cameron Brandt. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. I love to get these guys out. I love to watch them walk around. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Um, believe me, I am in a lot of trouble. Anyway, uh, we're gonna just kind of hang out, talk about Cuban rock iguanas today as they wander around the backyard. And uh, it's gonna be really fun to see these guys in this kind of situation. I love getting them out. They're so tame. I've had these animals since August of 2004. Uh, they are just amazing. And uh, my favorite lizards when it comes to just how docile they grow to become uh just how impressive they look how big they are uh these guys are just truly some of my favorite animals here at the camp uh, i'll tell you what i'm gonna have to go over here hi hon oh god i think she saw um hi hon what you doing i was hoping you weren't gonna see that it was guapo who could not see that oh god you saw it too Oh, crud. Oh, my God. Really? Well, look. Here's the thing. A few months ago, we were worried about his poops, and they look really good. Oh, so exciting. Yeah, hold on. Let me wipe it, and then I'll... Um... Oh, you, just me... you know what? I wanted a new chair anyway. So now you just get two new chairs, and we're going to be square. Yeah. Anyway, hold on. Let me wipe you guys down. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, crazy. So we were uh, a few months ago, Guapo was acting funny, and we were a little nervous about him. Had him x-rayed, and we were worried about if he was passing waste nicely and he is it is so this is a good thing i'll spray that off too with the hose um looks like i'm getting mama a new chair well she's happy about that i didn't get in as much trouble as i thought these guys look like they're just going to kind of hang out but i i promise you they're going to start moving around so like i said i got guapo and lola in uh, august of 2004 they were just little little babies uh and i wound up getting them and it was really a lot of fun to watch them grow they live of course in that big cage back there and they have lived there their entire lives cyclora really need a lot of room to move now cyclora is the name of the genus of these lizards and these are basically caribbean island rock iguanas there's uh quite a few different species of rock iguanas they're found in the bahamas uh, each island in fact in the caribbean has its own species of rock iguana so these guys are the cuban iguanas uh where do you think they're from hmm they're from zimbabwe no they're from cuba so these guys are from the main island of cuba uh there are also uh jamaican iguanas there are the figgins eye or the exuma iguanas there's the rhinoceros iguanas from the dominican republic and haiti uh there's been some iguanas that have been introduced to some of the islands off the coast of um uh, Puerto Rico, the Cayman Island iguanas, the blue iguanas, and of course the Cayman bracts. Uh, but they are all collectively the most endangered lizards on earth. It looks like they're just going to kind of relax here. Um, they're the most endangered lizards on earth as a group because, as you can imagine, those islands have um, a lot of development because they're a desirable place for people to live and to vacation. And so the prime habitat, of course, kind of gets bought up. Uh, these animals like it in the higher and drier areas. This is my mulberry tree, which is finally growing after years being planted somewhere else. I transplanted it and I got these big, beautiful mulberry leaves. So let's go ahead and see what's the scoop. Uh, if these guys are interested in maybe having a little mulberry treat, we want a little mulberry leaf treat guys. Um, this is a really good leaf. If you guys can grow it, it's high in calcium. 
a lot of nutrition for these lizards and uh, it's just an awesome awesome leave to grow uh, plus the mulberries taste good as well but I think right now what these lizards want to do is they want to use the lounge so they are officially lounge lizards and uh, well let's let them do that and then uh, I'll pick back up again when they start moving around Well, it's about time. They finally got off the lounge and looks like they're having a little bit of a territorial dispute already. These guys are funny. Um, as you know, I've been trying to build a large iguana enclosure on the backside of the property and I've been waiting on the materials to come from England. So it's taking so long. Now, these lizards have been together since 2004 and they have bred in the past, but unfortunately they stopped breeding. Um, I think they fell out of love, to be perfectly honest. As you can see, they're not out of love with all the weeds that I have here, so it's cool to watch them do this. Um, and I'm glad they're eating this up. They're my little gardeners, so that's really cool. But um, basically what I think I need to do, and why I'm building that new enclosure that's just out back over there, is so that when I put these lizards into it, they're going to kind of reset. Um, they're going to try or basically figure themselves out again in a new habitat and I'm hoping that'll induce them to breed once more. Um, if that doesn't work then what I'm going to do is wind up you know perhaps getting another male and another female uh, Cuban iguana and then rotating them out and see if they'll pair up with them. I don't know I mean part of me really doesn't care that much but it would be amazing if I could have the offspring of Guapo and Lola. Um, because I love these lizards. I've raised them up since they were very small. You see what she's doing by cro kind of compressing herself down on the ground? Uh, she's scenting. Um, they will do that in areas that they like. They even do it to my legs. They'll rub up against me and get their scent on it, almost like they're marking their territory. Uh, but they usually they stick together when they go on their little travels. She's kind of flaring up. She's going to give him a what for right now. You see how she's flaring up like that? So you can see she's going to kind of show off and try and get the best grazing and uh, basking areas on her own. That's what she's doing. She's rubbing all over. She don't want you here, Guapo. Can you believe that after all these years? He doesn't care as long as he gets himself a little dollar grass. They really seem to like this dollar grass here that grows in Florida. Um, I can't say enough good things about these rock iguanas as a whole. Um, I love them so much. Um, they really bring me hours of entertainment uh, and joy because, uh, you know, them, the cyclora in general, and the, the rhinos and Cuban iguanas, they're very intelligent. And if you work with them and just allow them to tame themselves, you give them the proper habitat, a nice big uh, area for them to walk around on, um, these terrestrial lizards really do kind of come out of their shell, so to speak, and they really do get to know their owners. Uh, I love these two. I just love her. Oh, look at this. Look at how big and bad she is. Look at that pretty face. Lola is definitely incredible. Now, something you guys should know. How do you tell the difference between a cyclora iguana and like a spiny tail iguana? How do you know the difference? Well, number one, these cyclora, they get their name. The name cyclora is Latin. It has to do with being circular or conical. And you can see this is a very round tail. The tail has all kinds of really cool spines on it. And these spines point backwards. These are lizards that like to use burrows. They'll dig out burrows. And when they wedge themselves in, you cannot pull this tail out. You cannot pull this lizard out because of these backwards facing spines. They lock themselves in. Okay, so that's one way to look and know. But you've also got the spiny tail iguana, which is kind of similar. Well, here's the difference. Look at the rows of spikes along their backs. Okay, so when you look here, this is the nuchal or what they call a nuchal crest, the nuchal spikes. There is a break. You see the break right there, guys? There's a break at the neck and a break where the dorsal spines hit the tail spines. There's a break here. That's how you'd know that this lizard is a cyclora iguana.
that and these guys are so robust look at these big legs they're like the weightlifters of the reptile world i love them i love their big juicy legs these guys like i said are terrestrial so they live on the ground so they need these powerful legs to move around and to dig um, they're very fast when they need to be uh, but right now uh, they feel completely at home and calm here in my property uh, like i said i bring these guys out often and let them walk around and let them enjoy this beautiful pond too i have to think the lizards enjoy being outside and eating these tasty treats you know it's a nice way for me to kind of keep them going that being said i never let them out here uh unchaperoned because something could spook them and they could run and they could just disappear really quick here in my backyard, there's a lot of places to hide. Um, and I also want to make sure that I'm on hand in case there's any kind of bird of prey that thinks they could take on one of these amazing lizards. Um, a large hawk could definitely do it. An osprey perhaps could injure this animal. So I don't want to take any chances. The chances of a bird of prey coming down while I'm here are pretty thin. So I just like to kind of keep them going. So she's making a nice movement there. There you go. Uh, these guys will eat. They're herbivores, but as we've learned, if you watch the video where Lola was hanging out with the box turtle, she ate a few of these earthworms. Uh, in the wild, they've been seen eating crab and fish carcasses. They'll eat bird eggs, ground nesting birds. Um, they'll basically, you know, make use of any protein that they can find. I wouldn't say they'd hunt it down, but they definitely would make use of any carrion that they found. And I've found that to be true of most every herbivore that I've seen. There are even deer that have been uh, recorded eating birds, little baby birds out of the nest. If it's easy source of protein, a herbivore is going to go for it. Uh, look at this beautiful pose. This lizard is truly a regal animal. He is something else. And a few months ago, we were worried because he wasn't moving his legs properly and everything's back to normal. He was co uh, constipated, so it was putting pressure on his mobility, on his back legs there. But we got him all straightened out. He's a great lizard. He's just, oh God, I love him so much. Uh, these guys uh, in the wild can give you a pretty nasty bite though. So make sure you don't go up to any of the lizards in the wild. Um, Guapo, like I said, I've been raising him since he was, oh God, he was tiny. He was about that big. Oh boy. Jeez, a little pee pee and a little little tur a lizard poop fart there. Excuse you, man. I'm gonna go ahead and let him do his thing. I don't know if we necessarily need to see him pooping or farting on camera here. So check her out. She's kind of hanging out here in the shade and she's uh, just having a look around the patio. Very good, my young lady. Um, I just love the way this lizard looks, man. She's really amazing. Now, when she did lay eggs, she would lay close to 13 eggs. There have been larger females that have laid uh, about 20 eggs. So uh, when they hatch after about 90 days or three months, uh, they will hatch out. And uh, you keep them at about 85 degrees and about 70, 65% humidity. Uh, but you don't want the eggs to actually get wet if the eggs get droplets on them, they will get some kind of fungus on them and the eggs will then die. And once that fungus starts, it's difficult to cure it. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you have the parameters in the incubation uh, incubator uh, proper, you know what I mean? You don't wanna have it too wet and you definitely don't want drips falling on it. I'll tell you, you'll have to check back or watch some of my older videos with the rhino iguanas um, to see how I dug up the eggs and how I actually incubate them. So if you guys are interested, it's pretty much the same for all cyclora. Uh, they come from a very similar climates. Uh, they like drier habitats. These are not animals that live in rainforests. They live in what's called xeric uh, conditions, almost desert-like on those islands. Very dry, a lot of scrub brush, a lot of rocks, as you can imagine, why they get the name rock iguana. And then little weeds like this they can eat, and cactus, they love to eat cactus as well. But it's fun just seeing him do his thing, huh? I love listening. Listen to the sound. And do you guys see what he does? He does not rip it up by the root. He's only tearing off the leaves. He kind of leaves the root there. So the plant itself doesn't die and it could pop up. I hear her. She's making some noise back there. We'll check on her in a second. He's being interesting right now. He hears her as well. Um, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, if you look down, see guys, they're just kind of trimming it down. Once he gets the tastiest bits, he moves on to the next one. 
What do you see? What do you see, Guam? They're very alert. Uh, also, you see on top of his head, for those of you new to the channel, I've talked about this before. It's called the pineal eye. It's actually a third eye. There's a lizard over there, hon, so don't be alarmed. Where's Is she close? That's Lola. <laughs> so this is called the pineal eye, and it's an actual working eyelid. Uh, excuse me, eyeball. It has a lens. It doesn't see like the other eyes, but it senses light and dark, and it'll also help them thermoregulate. So these guys really do have a third eye. In fact, all lizards have a third eye. So that is pretty uh, interesting to me, that these guys are kind of in getting in touch. There's my little lizard right there. That's my little Sophia. Hey, Sophia, you just, oh good, she's over there, you can see her. You keep an eye on Lola, and if she starts going someplace cool, you let me know. So again, guys, it's just so much fun. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do a little hyperlapse here, let them walk around, and then we'll join up when they're in another area of the pond. So I remember when I put this pond uh, together here with my friends at Aquascape and we kind of made these different um, habitats or rather we built all these little rock ledges and stuff. You can see how much they've grown. Now, my goal was of course to always have plants growing on this and then to one day be able to see guapo interacting with it. Don't mind all those leaves. I just was trimming this bird of paradise or rather it's a traveler's palm and uh we just love watching guapo walk around and it's fun he's been rubbing against things he's just like marking himself in this area i love seeing him interact now i wonder what he's going to do when he sees these red foots uh it'll be kind of interesting um and then way over yonder my little lizard lady she's just keeping an eye what's she doing she's at the back door oh man she wants to go into the uh I think she wants to go into the um, cool air conditioning, but I think mom would kind of lose it. Yeah. She might see herself in the reflection. There she is. She's just kind of enamored with all the things over here. I'll yeah, tell you what, young lady, why don't you come with me and I'll pick you up and I'm going to put you on the rocks and we'll get some really cool video of her on the rocks. I mean, can't have a rock iguana not on the rocks, right? Come on, Soph, let's go see. You're going to help me out for the rest of the video. Well, he's over there. So let's go. Oh, let's put her oh i think she'd look really cool right here there you go young lady there you go look at the turtles huh look at those tortoises they're like rushing over here i know they're rushing over because they want to see what we're up to but i oh look at this guys is that not the coolest thing do you think she looks happy i mean if a lizard could smile lola is definitely smiling this is like oh god i love seeing them like this now they're rushing over <laughs> i know everyone's what what are you doing one of my little snow leopards hey guy what are you up to he's you gonna nibble on me like he does. yeah they're funny man last time we took him out he's like posing and go back posing go yeah back. let's see if she's interested in any of this would you like some of the cactus here young lady oh you're not that young anymore are you you are in fact 16 years old now Gosh, it's a sweet 16 this August. There you go, babe. There you go. Are you in the mood? I think because she's in a new area, she might be just a little bit concerned. How's that make? That, that sounds about right. So she just wants to get the lay of the land because, oh, someone's biting my honey. Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. These snow leopards are so funny. I'll tell you what, I'll leave that for you, lunatics. Oh, cool. Let's go see him. Oh, guys, come on. She's enjoying that perch. And then here's Guapo. Look at all these red foots, huh? So much. Oh, he could walk right in, no problem. Look at that guy go. He's going in. Let's see what he does. Oh, don't mind Guapo. He'll just step right over you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and Lola's moving too. It's so fun. We have so much happening right now in this video with the lizards moving back and forth. Imagine uh, you just took out all the animals and put them over there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It would be like total animal chaos. No, we can't do that. Look at this. Hey, buddy. Now he's licking the tortoise shell. Yeah, he just wants to, he uses his tongue similar to a snake in that he's just seeing where he's going. He's getting chemical cues from the shells to say hey is this dangerous is this food what is this right here that's my foot and sandal 
Oh, look, he's gonna rub on me. I love when he rubs on me. Yep, there's little Lola. Now where's he now going? He wants, he's probably going in there. You think? Yeah. You think he's gonna go in there? That's my best guess. Oh, he's going over there. All right, let's see. Now he's posing. Now he just does a pose. Guapo knows he's Mr. Handsome. That's why I named him Mr. Handsome in Spanish. Senor like Guapo. Over here. No, wait, no, oh, he's going wait. in there. What the heck? Is he really going to go in there? Oh, Lola. She just plopped right down. She's going, she's going, she's going. I don't know if he'll go in there. Let's see. Oh, what a little rascal. Nope, I don't think so. No, don't There goes toes. Lola. Hey, he's going. I knew it. You got it right. Let's go see him. Come All on. right, go ahead. Oh my gosh, you're so smart, Soph. Hey, Lola. It's so funny. It's funny how they really do investigate their... I'm a lizard whisperer. You are a lizard oh. Did he make a stinker again? He's a little gassy. I heard him. Oh my God. He, who does he sound like? <laughs> you didn't want to say. She was being good. She didn't want to say, but... I might have been known to cut a few. Oh, there she is. Oops. Oh, no, no. Oh, a now she's going over there. And there's a tortoise going in there. Oh, my gosh. Tortoise, so, you better watch out. Is this fun or what? Yeah. It's fun when we take our lizards for a walk, huh? The last time we had them out, it was actually only guapo. Yep, it was just guapo. So I've got them both out now. Yeah, I know you do, but you have to find a different way. It's really good that you're here because you help me out. You can keep an eye on her, and this is this is what keeps things going. It's really fun when you get the kids involved. Oh, he's still inside, hon. He's just wandering around. Uh, of course, there is our gal. There is precious Buttercup. She's enjoying this whole thing. She's shed, and she's out of the water. She went ahead and slithered on up there. So she's doing her thing there. She wants to go. He does want to get out, doesn't he? What did you do? What did you do, man? And look who's coming over. She's coming over here too? Mm -hmm. Aw. Yeah, she, she can't get up. I think she could, if it's she really thing. wanted to, she could climb up. I think he's, look at him, he's just dragging himself all over. He's marking himself. She's got she's this going on. on. She's going over there. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's going over she's there. Heading over she there likes now. it over there. Now he's going to go back out? He's going back out. This is a smart lizard, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, she was about to enter in there. Oh, was she? Yeah. Well, you let me know what goes on with her. I'm going to bring everyone back over here. You can see just how this. What? Look at. Where are you going? He keeps going in and out, so. Where? Yeah. This? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. No, that's that's an old um, trunk of some grass. Because I thought it was. Just could a, she lift it? <laughs> oh no, she just is. Again, she uses her tongue just to know what's edible and what's not. Look at this. See, he's figured out that I can scale that wall. I can scale that wall. We heading home. Is that where you guys want to go back to your house? Man, it's so cool, though, to see these guys out and about doing their thing. I love it. Um, we'll do this with the rhino iguanas, too. Or he probably just wants to get outside again. Yeah, probably. But he knows that there's a But you see this behavior, guys? You see how he's just rubbing against the walls and stuff? Um, I believe that it's not just to scratch himself, it's actually just a way of him kind of marking his territory. So it's really interesting to see that kind of behavior. And again, guys, you see how well she does with this lizard? Um, these, these are the lizards I trust the most. Oh, she's um, going over there. She is? Okay, we'll go see what she's doing. He seems to be okay over here. Let me walk over here and just make sure that everything's cool. See, there's some shed from... Oh, look at that. She's looking. Oh, she looks so cool. You're so cool there, aren't you? You want to go back to your house, hon? Is that what you want to do? All right, I'll tell you what. You keep an eye on Guapo. I'm going to put her back because it's easier to put him back one at a time. So we'll go put her back and then we'll see what Guapo does. I'm going to rely on you, babe. Now, the cool thing is, is there's no way Guapo can get out of this property. That's okay, hon. She told me he was outside. Yeah, there's no way Guapo can get away from her at this point, but it is the lizard that I trust the most. So, um, yeah, Guapo, man. Gotta love that lizard. Let's go ahead back in. See another lizard I love who just went into his house, but Slinky is uh, out and about. Oh, pardon me while I do this. As you can imagine, not easy with the uh, one hand. There's Slinks. Easy Slinks. We, this Lola is not for eating. 
Can you imagine? I would be horrified. That would be the worst thing ever. All right, you go back in, Bubba. There you go, Bubba. -la. All right, so now let's go back out. We'll finish things up with Guapo. And uh, there's the Slinkster. Yeah, let's do it. So Guapo and Lola have been living in that cage since August of 2004. So they really have grown up in it. And the cool thing about it is I would never try this when they were young. They would just take off. Um, anything can scare them. When they get a little bigger, they get a little bit more sure of themselves. Uh, and you've also spent a lot of time with them, you know, since their hatchlings. Oh, look at my girls. My girl and my boy, Guapo. Let's see where he wanders. Uh, have you guys ever seen so many crazy little redfoots? All right, he's doing good. Has he been eating any weeds? Uh, no. no, he hasn't eaten anything. Okay. He's just, sniffing the he's just sniffing the ground. Well, that's awesome, man. So it's really fun just seeing them do this kind of thing. Again, guys, it's so awesome if you can get your animals outside. Um, if you live in a place where it's conducive to that, it's just so much fun. What's that? I think he wants to go over there. He might. We'll see. We'll just let him wander. Oh my gosh. Yeah, anyway, if you can do it, it's really great. But don't do it too soon, as I was saying. You want to make sure that these animals trust you and know that you're someone that they can uh, rely on for safety. As they get older, they get more and more tame. There's a little lick on the camera. Thank you very much. A lick on me. Um, they're really, really fun, as you guys know. So I think we learned a lot about Cuban rock iguanas today. It's fun to kind of see them move around. There again, a little rubbin. Rubbin's racing, Cole, rubbin's racing. We ain't like racing anyone. Anyway. What's that? Just like dogs. A little bit, dogs mark their territory with urine, but look, these guys don't do it that way. He's climbing up the rocks, I love it. I knew he would go. You knew he would go up there. Look at how majestic he looks as he surveys his new kingdom. All right, guys, so there you go. A little fun with uh, Cuban rock iguanas. Be sure to check back, guys. I just want to say thank you all. You've been uh, really supporting the channel. You guys have been watching. Um, we really appreciate it. Uh, it really helps us to continue to make these educational videos, showing you these animals that we all love, and showing you a really cool way to raise them and keep them, and hopefully inspire the next generation of reptile keepers out there. So I just want to say thanks for all the support, guys. You've been amazing. You've been amazing. So, yeah, they're just going after them. Uh, you can run away, can't you? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to finish things off. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again on another video. Uh, there you go. Cuban rock iguana is wandering the camp. See you guys.